Hey guys, hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, it's Tuesday. I got a new job today, so yesterday obviously I cleaned out that plot I was on. I just did that little bit of plot work and it was pissing it down. So I got wet yesterday, I left at 11, so off to a new job today. I've got all my toolboxes, I think. Um, got me, me on my stands and I didn't bring profiles because I couldn't really fit them in. It's good rain today anyway, so. So I'm on a new job today. Nice detached plot. Um, pretty easy house, just clay bricks today. Um, well, clay bricks for a while if I'm on here. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, it's fucking windy as fuck, so I'm just gonna load out for a while because I don't even want to put. I could build some corners, but I don't even want to really. I've got a load of uh, splash coast to change because they're changing brick on this plot, so I'll show you what I'm doing. So yeah, got the blue ones, they're better. Uh, just loading out this, it's a square box with a sticky outfit on. So, uh, and then these red bricks are coming off, terracotta or whatever, they're changing for a buff one, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get loaded out, got three packs of bricks loaded, then I'll take that off, load some brickwork and then I might bang some corners up on the block work, because it's very windy and I'll find some frames, there's no more building my reveals in, I've got proper fucking frames. You can see over there, so we're garage, very rare site. I've not seen one of them in a while. Right, see you the next clip. Thank god that's all done all the way around. I must have lost about an inch off my bolster. So, yeah, uh, it's 12 o'clock. I uh, have about a 15 minute break and we'll get some gobble, get some block work up. Right, see you next clip. So, uh, I've got my head around the job a little bit. Yeah. A lot of it, to be honest. Spent about an hour sort of asking a few questions and whatnot, and I'm pretty much there. So I'll show you what I've been doing. I've been blowing a gale for ages, or so contemplating not doing out. Uh, but I've got a lot of ready mix that they have booked, so we're doing a lot of block work with this ready mix. So it's just sat here waiting for me to use. So I used a bit of it. I'll show you what I've done. Yeah, so I knocked that six course corner up. I could have gone a bit higher, but it's blowing a fucking gale, so and it's ready mix, so probably blow over <laughs> but uh, yeah so this is this back's completely solid there's a window there front window that side I think patio door there so I'm just running it easy bit first we'll build this up another six do another six course corner and uh, I'll check in me in a bit and that's where we got to just that nice set up and what's the block work tomorrow so it's a windy day, if you can even hear me. Uh, I'll show you what we got done. We got here about nine, because Satnap took us the wrong way. Um, we're still getting used to the route for this job, because it's about 50 minutes an hour, depending on where we go. So yeah, I'll show you what we're doing. One last video, I've just banged that corner up. I've banged that corner up, and I've banged that corner up. It's been that windy. Um, it's about 11 o'clock now. Uh, I've only been here a couple hours just fighting against the wind so I'm going to fucking load all these corners out. Yeah, we're going to load out for a bit. So it's one o'clock. I've loaded basically the whole plot out. Two and a half thousand bricks, something like that. Um, loaded all blocks back up and stuff. So we were off. I had to go to anyway for a vet appointment so it's going an hour early. So yeah, it's still blowing a gale. The corners aren't blown over luckily. So yeah, and I can't find any frames for these uh, for patio doors, but the doors I don't think you have a frame for. But if it's too windy to pop them off. So right, see you next clip. So that was day one and now. Um sort of banging it down as we left. So you know, it's a good job we left early today. Um yeah, this wind is killer. Didn't realise until I was back on hours in full time how much wind kills everything. Because I've got to put the splash back on, um, I'm just going to build, you know, streamline down and build the corners freehand because there's no space for putting profiles on. Um, and then I've got to put the damp in obviously after two course so I've knocked off. So yeah, alright guys, right. see you in the next clip. Right, it's 10 o'clock, I'm going to see how many bricks I can lay. It'll take me to build these two corners because I'm going to probably run a few courses of this in. Right, see you in the clip.
Hey guys, Harry here, back with another voiceover. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this one too long because I've, I've tried. I'm not kidding you guys. I've done this voiceover about seven or eight times. I've been, I've been almost two weeks without drinking now, and I'm drinking alcohol-free Stellas, and and I can't have fuck do a voiceover anymore. I'm terrible at it. So, um, without rambling or getting miles off topic, I'll just make this one short and sweet. So. <laughs> doing a little bit of long bed pick and dip here backwards as I prefer um, just running in this this uh, back it's like the back of the house but it's a nice straight run, no windows uh, just a little uh, contrasting course on me a, on top of me, 17th, 17th course so it's um, I'll probably not even hardly reach it <clears throat> until I get really far to the top and depending on uh, <clears throat> depending on how much I get done next week might end up stepping on a milk crate, trying to reach pretty high on these, just because being uh, being a one on one, I try to take up as much of my <coughs> first lift as I can, so it just leaves less uh, for squaring up, you know, to joist. You know, it makes it an easier an easier few days when you're squaring up to joist. Um, so yeah, because um, I had to take the splash off profiles are out the window on this build, unfortunately. Um, I might use them later on uh, next week, depending on what I go to attempt. You know, I don't know how I'm gonna, you know, attempt the rest of this house. I'm still in, uh, still, you know, still formulating a plan. But <coughs> <coughs> if I'd have not had to touch the splash profiles, that'd have been, you know, really nice. Um, but yeah, I do, I, I do like my corners. 
Uh, obviously, this week's been a necessity with the wind, you know. It's been destroying everyone. Uh, a lot of gangers, you know, I know I haven't even been going in. So let us know in the comments if you've managed to get anything done. Um, I'm getting a little haircut this week, get my sides done so I look a bit more less um, American History X, you know. <laughs> so, um, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, this that's the week. That's the week, guys. New site. You've seen the check-ins. Um, you know, just been doing what I can. You know, managed to make a bit of a crust this week. Not much, but you know, got I've got three days in so far. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be going in tomorrow, but you'll find out in next video if there is a next video, uh, or else it'll be Monday. Uh, I'll probably be releasing this on the Friday anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll go into a bit more detail next video of sort of what I'm doing on this on this build differently. There's a lot of a lot different on this site than the last houses I was building. Like these frames aren't in check. Um, there's door frames, patio door frames. There's no building your reveal, so that makes it a lot easier. You know these clay bricks are very very nice to lay, but it's a bit of bad news, guys. A bit of bad news. In the next probably three, four months, they might be going to concrete bricks. So, oh, the sopers. But I do like this out these uh, houses anyway better than the ones I was building before. They're a little bit easier. They don't have that over sailing course that sticks out 10, 15 mil that really, really throws off the build on the on the concretes. Any sort of projecting brick makes the concretes cockle. So, um, you know that's a thing also you know there is a lot of sites there's a rumors going around a lot of sites are going to these concrete bricks because they can get more of them um they can get them for cheaper so you know we're gonna have to learn to lay them at some point you know in some of the no issue you can still lay them you know pretty quick i've got seven or eight hundred down in a day but you know they are a ball like you know they're not the same as laying one of these bricks <sighs> they're heavy they're nasty but we're going to persevere. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be on this site, but if it does go to concrete, so I'll be showing you guys what I'll be doing. At least I'll attempt one house in concrete bricks. Obviously, as you've seen, I've been going from site to site, concretes, yellow concretes, red concretes, fucking red, red clays, yellow buff clay bricks, you know, so... We'll be doing it all on this channel. We'll be going through it all, and uh, I'll be showing you guys the way I get get around a lot of these problems, obviously. So, and as you've seen, um, building these corners because I've had to knock the splash off its lines on. Make sure your corners are running through. I did it on every corner. It's a necessity. Get your line on, run it from end to end. Make sure your corners are running nice and true, and then start plumbing. Um, you know, because the wind was so severe, as you can see. Um, I was covered a bit with this block work, but if I hadn't had this block work up, I'd have just been having to keep milling corners. I didn't want to risk running anything in that could the wind could take because it's just getting you know it's when we're we're in Storm Dudley and whatever Storm Irene or whatever is coming next. You know you've just got to you don't want to be second guessing the wind. It can take your work easily and it just ruin your day. So that's what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, uh, I've got some more to talk about next video, uh, when I get a little bit more footage, obviously I, I forgot my head cam, I, I charged my batteries up and everything, forgot everything uh, on a couple of the days, so I didn't get any footage, obviously with the weather and finding the route to work and stuff, uh, with it being a bit further, it's, you know, it's taken, uh, you know, it's not been an ideal week, but we've, uh, I think I've done pretty well considering the circumstances and I'll be working on getting to the site back at after eight again, you know, uh, get laying by nine as I normally do, and we should get through this house pretty quick. And um, I think by the end of next week, um, you know, we'll be pretty close to finishing. Uh, you know, all depend weather depending, obviously. But yeah, I've got some. I'll be talking more about this build next week. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, still wearing the gloves, obviously that I did the last video about, as you can see. Still loving them. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And um, we'll put a bit of music on to see us out for the uh, to the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body in Harvard above me. I saw no shadow.
I looked around, searched every building and home that I found. I saw no shadow, but felt a glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. Felt like heaven, I found my bones and gave me comfort when I feel alone. Now you're gone, I'm alone. I guess it's time to get better. Through the pain, I will go alone. If I fall, break my bones, I will scream even louder. Cause I'm not dying alone. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me. Dying again and again I went through hell Instead of death But I keep fighting with each living breath I saw no way out From where I stood Felt like the fire had burned me for Now you're gone I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain I will go alone If I fall Best friend
talk and then uh, off. Hey guys, um, so that was the week. I don't think I'll be coming in tomorrow because it's give terrible wind and weather. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll start on a new site and it's pretty good. You know, a lot of the sites I'm on, a lot of guys have commented, you know, like, wow, how can you work, you know, one on one or, or sometimes solo on, on housing on your own? And it's just finding the right site, like I said, the last. Uh, last video, you know, a lot of sites, you know, I don't keep to program, I'm not quick enough, you know, compared to like a two and one or a three and one or four, a four gang, you know, you know, whatever, whatever size it is, you know, I'm not going to be able to, you know, keep up with any of those other gangs. So I've got to sort of do plots a bit out of the way, off a program a bit, you know, in the back, so I have time to keep keep up with the rest of the site. And I just have to move around a lot, you know. That's why I was doing walls for ages at the old place. Because they wouldn't put me on on houses. But, you know, it just shows, you know, there's nothing stopping you. Building houses one-on-one, -on -one, or sometimes I'm on my own. Um, you know, it's fucking dead easy when you get organised. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people told me, you know, years ago, oh, you don't want to be on housing, this, this and that. And it just depends, it has to be the right firm. Like, I, did, I was building... Keep moat fucking townhousey looking things years ago. They were tiny these fucking houses I was building, and um, it were when they were like three twentieth out. And fucking hell, you know there was hardly any meat in those houses. You know you got them up so quick. Even when I was just me and my mate years ago, it was a it was laboured on me. And you know it's finding the right firm. If you do your apprenticeship at a house building firm where they build big fucking five six seven hundred seven hundred thousand pound houses you know four or five bedroomers you know you're not going to be building them as a one-on-one -on -one. but you know you go to a you know more affordable housing firm where they're building two bedroom houses you know three bedroom houses but small houses you know smaller plots you know you can easily you know get around them in a decent time frame on your own you know with just the laborers you know you see them melt Noel's trying to do more days as well, trying to do at least oh, three or four. Just keep just giving me some extra help. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's easily done. You know, you see, you've seen it. You know, you just got to have the know-how, and obviously, very daunting for a lot of, a lot of lads, even uh, even experienced bricklayers. It's daunting for them, just them and a labourer. Uh, but yeah, we, we're we're making uh, making the best of it. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.